Right, the, the 10 T-Rex classic hits that were all hits. Um, this would be a great drinking game. Now, can you name all 10? Um, not that anyone needs a game um, to, to drink. You know, drink can be a game in itself, right? First one is called What Rider Which One? Right? And if you, you can find the classic albums program, um, Tony Visconti is um, talking about working with Mark and you know, all the cello lines that, uh, that Tony Visconti added, all the strings to these great songs. And go on just a. At the mixing board that they used, and he um, takes all the instruments away apart from just Mark on his own, and what's left is the opening riff, all the different stages of um, Ride Away Tron. So if you imagine it as a rockabilly. So. time, um, a very mean-spirited criticism that the music press used to make was, you know, Mark Bowen got a lot of stuff from Scotty Moore, but we all get stuff from everywhere, you know, and you, you, you can hear that kind of stuff is. Isolated, it's absolutely fantastic. And Tony Visconti says, if you can't make a hit record out of that, you can't make a hit record. This is really the first, as far as I know, of the electric hits, although um Jewel was on the T-Rex album, which uh Ride Away Someone's not, it's under the issue, but it wasn't on. So this is the first one that's a hit, you know, that, uh, that's got this. Got that one. In the middle of the song, um, and it, it's a classic, you know, three chord structure, you know, the... so I've got the. In the middle of it, Mark plays one of the first um, well-known Mark Bowen guitar solos. <coughs> and I really like the solo, I absolutely love it. It sounds, it sounds different to anything else. And it sounds in a way like he's searching for you know where to go in um you know a five note scale but and it breaks the rules you know and, and there aren't any rules if it sounds good it's good so what happens is over this right mark plays right, 
that's his opening line. It's got a typical mark. You know, it's very fast. <laughs> I'm sorry this is all sharps and flats. He bends that an E flat. And he gives that kind of swagger. Well, that's the first half of it. So bend the C flat, we go down to B flat. And then up to this F. And it's an A flat. Told you, it's all sharps and flat. And then. Is it bends and all, and then this is it. This one, so the line is. It's a lot better what he does. So by missing out this C sharp, we get. Then jump D flat, and then back to the final scale. If you hit any of the open strings in B flat, it will sound horrendous. So one more time. There you go. Um, it's a kind of banana skin, you know, in, in all, most songs in E, A, D and forever. Yeah, no, it's not the end of the world, but in B flat, you're looking to get back from the solo straight to. Any of the. Doesn't sound good, right? Um, where you put the, the tone control on this is entirely up to you. You know, you can have it very uh, fruity. It's a lovely. It's like someone speaking in very slow measured sentences, you know. Here comes the jump. Land in B flat and try to get back to. Which is called Bride of Exxon. <laughs> 